Is there a spiritual foundation for effective internet marketing? When you think about the word spiritual, the concept of marketing, or internet marketing, does not often seem to pair well. After all, marketers are smart, bright, quick, sometimes overpromising, okay, often overpromising. And then, there are those that have gone beyond overpromising to scamming. So what's spiritual about that? Here, I'm not talking about religion or religious beliefs. I'm talking about spiritual principles like the golden rule, being helpful to others, and being honest. So, how do spiritual principles tie into internet marketing? I believe that spiritual principles are the foundation for everything we think, feel, say, and do. In other words, if one of your strongest principles is to be helpful or of use to others, then your actions will be helpful. On the other hand, if your focus is on me, 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 and making a lot of money for yourself, then your actions will be true to those beliefs. Some people call these our core beliefs. These are the things that guide our lives. Let's say someone has core beliefs like these, to be of use to others, to be honest, and to provide helpful resources. Their internet marketing will reflect those beliefs in what they choose to offer and not offer. The way they communicate will be shaped by those beliefs. And, what they promise and how they deliver on promises will also be shaped by those core beliefs. There is a well-known I am guru, Sandy with the tricolored hair, who has very effectively outlined the importance of the spiritual principles that must serve as the underpinning for long-term success in internet marketing. Some of the spiritual principles she outlines are, 1. The importance of working well, honestly, and with good intent. 2. Living by the golden rule. 3. Listening, really listening to your customers and giving them what they want and need. 4. Seeing yourself as being in the business of helping others fulfill their goals. These principles have been around for centuries and are so broad that they can serve as the underpinnings of just about any type of work. When they are the foundation, the direction that one's internet marketing takes is different because the relationship is important and providing a valued service is important, and there are some other leaders in the field that talk about the importance of giving first, providing something of value, of respecting the customers. That grateful, service-oriented mindset has a spiritual base. There are some internet marketers that have absolutely fabulous, compelling copy that draws you to purchase. And, some refuse to let you move forward in the download after the order if you did not purchase one of their upsell items that guy is interested in sales. In another case, numerous emails went unanswered after a launch, and the guy was just not able to deal with problems in his product. These are not major issues. But, in both cases, there was a carelessness, perhaps a callousness, that resulted behavior that demonstrated a lack of concern for the customer. In both cases, I requested and received a refund, which helped, perhaps we can all stop a few times during the day and ask ourselves how we are building value, and how we are respecting our customers. 4. That sort of perspective will provide a lot of bread for the journey.